Bafun, 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 eh. Mo fe gbe famo yen. Skilla, skilla. Hi and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Busola Day and you're welcome. So as you guys have seen from the title and thumbnail, you guys know that today I am going to be giving you guys an updated Q&A video because I just feel like there's some things that I didn't mention in the first one. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so my first question here is what is my religion? I am a Christian. Second question is where do I stay? Currently, I am in Port Harcourt, which is where I stay mainly, but I also stay in Ogun State for those that are interested in knowing. Um, am I single or taking? Very single, but not searching. Single. <laughs> um, do I play any sports or am I interested in any sports? I, um, hmm. I'm interested in sports, yeah, but I don't play sports. I'm not just like the sporty type. So, um, the sport I'm most interested in is football and my team, the club I support is Manchester United. So, um, next question is, do I drink? No, I do not drink, I do not smoke, I do not take edibles, I don't do anything related to weed, drugs, anything, alcohol, blah, blah, blah. I don't do any of those. Um, next question is, what's my height? Um, I feel I'm 5'7", but I just found out that one of my friends that shot at me is 5'7", which means I'm probably taller than 5'7". So I'm going to have to measure myself, I'm going to measure myself, I'm going to let you guys know how tall I actually am. Uh, yeah, so next question is, what is a misconception people have about me? Um, I feel like the greatest misconception people have about me is the fact that they say I'm rude. I've had a number of people tell me that. Or tell people that who now told me and I feel like people just feel like I'm rude because of certain circumstances for example the most um, I feel like the more the one with like okay I feel like what might have caused most people to think I'm rude is the fact that I'm a cost rep now y'all should understand that being cost rep you have to do a lot of things some people like I became cost rep in 300 level and so I had friends, 100 level, 200 level. So when I became cost rep, a lot of people were now using advantage, like taking advantage of that fact. And then they were like doing a lot of stuff, like just making things, like trying to take advantage of the fact that, oh, you are guys, how far now assigned for me, how far I never saw my assignment and help me, you know, that kind of thing. So it's like, I just feel like when you now like change it for them or you're like, no, I can't, they don't take it as you are being rude. But basically, I'm just trying to like. You can't take advantage of me, like, no, you can't. So, and then I think another thing that makes people think I'm rude is when they call my number from somebody, then they text me, and I'm like, not replying, not replying, and I'm like, you, I don't know you, so stop talking to me, that kind of thing. So, I feel like that is another reason why people might think I'm rude, but like, that is actually the biggest thing so that people have about me. Just, I'm not just rude, I'm just like, I'm just like every other normal person, because if you are in my situation, you actually do the same or even worse. So, yes. Yeah. Next question is, what talents do I have? Um, hmm. I am fortunate enough to be from a musically inclined family. My mom is a singer, performer, not a performer, a minister. She's a minister. <laughs> and um, yeah, so my dad who sings, not professionally or ministry related, but like he sings, like he can sing. So we all can sing, basically it's in our blood. We, we can sing. We all can sing, so yeah, I think that's the only talent I have. I don't think I have any other thing. I, I can play some musical instruments, but like those are like um, talents that you learn, or um, let me not say talents, they're like things you learn, not talents that you're born with. So yeah, that's like the talents I have. Next question is, what are my hobbies? Um, I think my biggest hobby, the biggest like the thing I like to do the most is sleep. I sleep a lot. <laughs> And that's because I basically have nothing to do most of the time. So I just like, yo, let me sleep. And see, sleep is good for you. But too much sleep is not good. But sleep is still good. You understand what I'm saying? But like, it's quarantine. Like, what do you want me to be doing? There's no light. Like, right now, there's no light. There's nothing for me to be doing. So like, I might as well just sleep. Because if I'm awake, my phone dies. I'll stay end up sleeping. So like, there's no point. Let me just sleep and let the phone be on. You understand what I'm saying? So sleeping, I can cook. I like cooking actually, I like cleaning, I like doing these things when I'm not forced to do them, mind you. It's like, when somebody comes and they're like, yo, so I'm going to sweep them up, I get grumpy, 
I'm like, why the fuck are you telling me this guy to come up? But like, sometimes I'll just stand up and I'll just go and carry broom. And I'll actually, I like mopping. Like, mopping, I know. Like, yo, I can mop. Hmm. If you tell me to mop from say tomorrow, I'll mop. I actually like mopping. But like, the fact that somebody will not come and tell me, so I go and mop. Ha. Naji. I can't. I'll be, I'll be like, like, you know, I'm busy or like, I'll just be grumpy or I'll do it, but I'll just not be happy about it. But like, if it's like me that decides that, oh, let me go and mop, then I'm actually going to be happy doing it. You get what I'm saying? So same thing with cooking and other stuff. But I think those are my, okay, yeah, and reading novels, that's another hobby of mine. I really love novels, like a lot of novels. Like, in this life, I'm sure I've read of like, man, I can't even give you a number because I don't want to be inaccurate or to go too high. But like I've read, I've read a lot of books actually. So yeah, the next question is what song do you listen to when you're sad? Um now there's two types of sadness. There's two types of moods, sad moods I get in. There's the emotional sadness and then there's the fact that oh my life is in shambles sadness. So it's like the emotional the my life is in shambles sadness is like I'm not achieving my goals, I'm like making so much mistakes, things are not going well for me, blah blah blah. That's the emotional that's the emotional that's the life is in shambles sadness so now if i'm in that kind of um vibe if i'm in that kind of vibe the song i listen to is i almost gave up i'll put it right here and you guys will see um i forgot the name of the person that sang it but it's a christian song then my emotional sadness song is um this is why i love you by um i just remember this and i forgot just now remember well anyway, i'll put it here also for you guys to see um yeah those are the two songs that i think like that came to my mind straight up those are the two songs that came to my mind when i think of sadness so um if you could have any spot power which power would you want to have um i think i would want to be invisible i mean most people would say they want to be able to read minds you know speed i'm like i mean if i'm invisible first of all i don't need speed because i'll be able to enter transport without anybody Without being I'm sure I can just sit on top of the car. So it's like <laughs> I, I can move around then and the reading mind thing is why do I want to read your mind? Because it's your mind, like you know, you can think of something and you don't say it or you don't do it. I want to see what you're doing when you think I'm not there. Do you understand? Like let me be invisible and sit down in the parlor with you as you're talking to your friends. Let me see what you say about me or about people at their backs, you understand? So like yeah, those are like two superpowers. That's the one superpower I would want to have. Um Next question is, have I ever met a celebrity? Yes, I have. I met Corey Bello back when I was in secondary school, I think around SS1 or 2. Uh, it was at the mall. I think it was Potako Mall. I'm not really sure right now. But it was at the mall and yeah, my sister was a big, 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 big fan of Corey Bello back then. So like, she was crazy about Corey Bello. Like, so she was going to ask her that, so that's Corey Bello. I'm like, yo <laughs> you get that kind of thing like it's like the lie it's not him so when i say like moving and like peeping like get that score a day <laughs> when i get to me you know asking my mommy now knows it's like what like that query well okay so who's that you know that kind of like your mother vibe now so yeah that was like that was <laughs> that was when i met query but we took some pictures together i think i still have the picture of my laptop i might impute it here i'm not sure i might um but like i looked a mess so i'm probably not going to infuse it because i don't want you guys to see me <laughs> back then i was on low cut i think i was already on low cut then yeah secondary school yeah i was already on low cut so that was when i met Corey Bello. i also met pato ranking but i didn't walk up to him that means i didn't meet him but i saw him in person like at the airport like we were at the that waiting area before you walk to your flight and he was like sitting like let me see i was on this row he was on this row so like I was and that time I was on Facebook a lot, so I just quickly like typed like yo Patron King is now beside me and everybody's like go and take a picture and I'm like who <laughs> like because I was I'm like so shy I would never like ever 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 walk up to somebody I'm like oh my god I'm such a big fan can I get people like that's cringy as fuck like the person would feel first of all the person if the person is trying to hide you bring attention to the person you understand so it's like I would rather not. So I met, I didn't meet, I saw Patron King at the airport and walked those, I could have walked up to him and touched him. <gasps> I touched God. So yes, um, the next question is, what fun thing have you been doing during this quarantine? Hmm. 
you have been sleeping and working out like those are the unity things i've been doing that are fun um initially when i got back uh, i tried to do like thrillers and tiktoks but like those like that's not for me the time people take to edit i i editing youtube it don't take so much time for me talking to and that's with my laptop talking to my phone like it's start hanging and stuff like that and then i'm using an android and everybody's hitting on android and they'll be like oh the android quality so i'm just like let me just move myself from there let me not enter at all so yeah basically the only thing i do that's fun is work out and sleep and i don't even eat i don't even eat so it's like work out and sleep those are like the things i've been doing um what language would i like to learn if i had a chance to hmm um i think french and italian french because we've always had that french thing where we were learning french primary school secondary school university we're always doing french so i just feel like yo i'm at to learn this language and be good at it like or at least good enough to have hold a conversation with someone so yeah i'm going to learn french and italian because italian is a beautiful language yo like i said i read books and dang. when those men start talking and they're like talking to you and they just say one sweet italian endearment like this like just it's... lord help me yo you guys like if you read books you understand what i'm saying like if you read all this the italian this the italian's pregnant mistress Woo! those men sexy cute like tall and then doing a yo <laughs> so yeah that's like this is like two languages i would like to learn the next question is cats or dogs i mean i have six dogs it should be obvious and then i'm nigerian why the fuck would i like cats cats are old witches <laughs> that's like the myth or the belief like that oh a cat especially a black cat is an old woman a wicked old woman so like why would i want cats like why would i want that you understand what i'm saying so yes um my last question is a question i actually got off instagram because i asked on my instagram for people to send me questions i didn't get responses that's when i got this one to myself um my last question is from kosi thank you guys thank you thank you guys thank you for this question um she asked what do i think about sex before marriage and I feel like the reason why she asked this question, you know, we've talked about it before um, with some of our friends and maybe she probably likes my belief on it or just wants me to say it, I would like to see what you guys think. Um, I'll probably shoot a video on it, my idea of marriage, um, sex, um, sex before marriage, um, waiting, blah, 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 all those things. I'm probably going to do a video on it soon. But um, basically just as a summary of this, so that this video is not too long. I do not believe okay no I personally I'm not going to engage in coitus before legal marriage okay basically that, that's like the, that's like the answer um I do not see I don't, I'm not saying there's a problem with it like at a point in my life I actually felt like you probably maybe when I was second I'm like you I need to get into university so I can you know but I, I don't know like before i was even done i think i already had the mindset that i'm never going to try to do such without being married first of all because yo the whole hiding thing because you know nigerian parents are hearing that their girl child is not different you get you have to be hiding you have to be doing a lot of stuff like contraceptives like if you miss your period your period is late you're already scared of oh, most alone you like how that tell my daddy they will kill me they'll take me out of the house like why would i want to stress myself with all those things when i can just wait and be married and see you get married and you will do it to the point where you will get tired like my, that's what my auntie told me one time she was like yo like all these things that people are rushing to do you know that you will do and get tired that they will even be telling you and you will be like you are familiar you understand so like why do you want to rush and do it like what is the joy that you get from doing it now what like yo five minutes what's done you're finished you're staying at your safe what next some relationships now like yo everything they like do is like sexually related like they are there's no actual connection i want to build a connection with somebody without having the cloud of sex covering that you understand what i'm saying so yeah personally sex before marriage is not my thing and 
that is my last question so therefore we've come to the end of this video thank you guys for staying if you did get to this part of the video and also don't forget to leave a thumbs up like thumbs up is like Duh. <laughs> thumbs up subscribe to the channel comment down below questions you want me to answer if you want me to answer more questions also video ideas you want me to do pranks challenges whatever 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 anything you want me to do just leave a comment down below share this video with your friends and thank you for watching see you on my next video bye Get, Cause I give her what she want And she give me what she don't want yeah. She give me what she